Next method of protein engineering is receptor based QSAR method. This is based on computational combination of structure activity relationship and receptor structure based design. Here we will design protein in such a way that this is accurately or more specifically it will bind with the receptor which is structure which has a structural relationship with the protein. So that is the method receptor based QSAR method. Next method is phage display technique. This is the one of the most common method which is known normally uh, non molecular display technology which relate phenotype with their corresponding genotype. Phage display technique is used to particularly in synthetic binding protein engineering where the library of synthetic binding protein were developed with the antigen binding site constructed from man-made diversity. It was suggested that the combination of phage display and synthetic combinatorial library will preferred for the synthetic binding protein engineering. Next and last method for protein engineering is yeast surface display, display. Using this method many different proteins can be displayed on yeast surface and the yeast secretory biosynthetic system will promote the efficient n linked glycosylation and oxidative protein folding. Yeast surface display has recently has suggested an important methodology for protein characterization and identification of protein interaction. Yeast cell in the cell surface level secretory biosynthetic system on okay it will promote the efficient and linked glycosylation and oxidative protein folding in this way also we can modify or we can engineer the engineer the protein uh, in such a way that to get a desirable protein now coming to the applications of protein engineering what are the different applications there are many applications like industrial application, environmental application, medical application, biomolecular and nanotechnology and redox button, protein engineering and other new applications. Let's discuss one by one. First one is industrial application. As we all know, proteins or enzymes are made up of proteins in uh, and uh, three dimensional structured proteins. So this protein engineered or modified protein can be act as an enzyme which can be used for a different industrial purposes so industrial application consists of there are two type of industry like food industry and detergent industry in food industry it is mainly used for the production of different food, foods so some uh, examples of proteins or enzymes which is used in food industry are protease which is mainly used for the production of low allergic infants formulas milk clothing and flowers and another enzyme amylase is used for the liquefaction and saccharification of starch and also it is used in adjustment of flow and bread softness and volume in baking lipase enzyme is used for the stability and conditioning of tough uh, and uh, in cheese flavor application. In detergent industry, the protease enzyme is used to remove the protein stains, amylase is used to remove the uh, starch stain, and lipase is used to remove the lipid stains. So, that is the industrial application of protein engineering. Now, second application is environmental application. So, uh, by modifying the proteins, uh, we can produce some enzymes which have an catalytic activity to eliminate the environmental pollutant and it can be uh, included in gene expression regulation to provide high catalytic activity under the environmental stress condition to detoxify these pollutants. Some examples of uh, pollutants which can be detoxified by enzymatic oxidations are phenol, azodide, organophosphorus pesticide, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and in petroleum 
bio refinery refinery this protein engineered enzymes can be used for fuel bio desulfurization denitrogenation and heavy metal removal etc and for improvement of hydrogen peroxide stability increasing redox potential to uh, bio burden uh, the uh, the substrate range hetero locus expression and industrial production development these are the different application in environmental field for by using uh, protein engineering now next application is medical application there are different application in the medical field and uh, the engineered protein engineering can be used for the cancer treatment study and also it can uh, increases the use of pre-targeted radio immunotherapy as a potential for chemotherapy because here we can reduce the uh, radiation toxicity by protein engineering method and it can be used to modify the antibodies to target the cancer cells and we can modify the pharmacokinetic parameters like uh, absorption distribution metabolism and excretion of antibody and uh, the antigen binding site can be produced for uh, ultimate case as an image probe specific to target tissue and molecular imaging tools based on antibody will find more application in the future so these are the different application in the field of medical now coming to next application that is bio polymer production the engine protein engineering can be used in combination with the macromolecular cell self assembly for the utilization of some peptide based bio materials such as elastin like polypeptides silk like polymers etc the ability of protein engineering to create and improve the protein domain can be utilized for producing new bio material for the medical as well as engineering applications now next application of protein engineering is nano biotechnology so this can be used in along with the phage display and bacterial cell surface display technology we can use it to deliver the drugs uh, in the body uh, here a uh, use of amyloid fibrils as a structural tremblet for nano wiring construction which has been high potential to be used as in uh, used for the nano technology so that is another application now next application is redox proteins and enzyme the electrochemistry of redox proteins particularly draw attention for the application in biofuel cells chemical synthesis and biosensors cytochrome p450 monooxygenase enzyme and protein engineering of this enzyme catalyst it can be used in the different field like uh, medical biotechnological and bioremediation applications now another other new applications like uh, uh, it can be used in biosensor studies as well as analytical molecules by using insertional protein engineering and we can use a zinc uh, finger protein engineering for a gene regulation application and can be used to design the dna binding protein to control the gene expression then virus engineering we can use come uh, by using different uh, bacteriophage in the field of uh, medicine and biotechnology nanotechnological field it can be used to produce vaccines and it can be used to treat the disease by gene therapy also we can use for targeted drug delivery vectors so that is the virus engineering and protein cysteine modification applied for in vitro glycoprotein synthesis this method could potentially used for the development of new protein based drugs improving their half life reducing their toxicity and preventing multi drug de uh, resistant development so these are the some uh, applications of protein engineering so that is all about the approaches different methods and applications hope it is clear thank you for watching this video